Hello there, children. How are you today? Welcome to another fun learning week. Last time, we had learned about addition. We said that addition is the process of putting numbers together or objects together so that we would know how many objects are there in all. Today, we will have another lesson and that is about subtraction. Everybody say subtraction. Correct. Okay, what is subtraction? Subtraction is the process or skill of taking one number or many numbers or amount away from another. So, remember and take note of the word taking away. Next, it is an arithmetic operation that represents the operation of removing objects from a collection. So here we would take note of the word removing. So that is taking away or removing. It is the opposite of addition. The addition is putting numbers together. Now with the subtraction, you will take away or remove. Now let's take a look at this one. Let us read. 5 minus 2 equals 3. Look at the pictures that I have here. So we got here five apples and two were crossed out. Now let's see. The number five here kids is what you call the minuend. That is the bigger number. Now the smaller number that you have there, that the next one is called subtrahend. That is the number that you take away. And the answer in subtraction is called difference. Can you say it again? Very good. That's difference. And the symbol that you will use here is minus. You say minus. Now, let me tell you and let me teach you the different ways and how to do subtraction. First, we use pictures or objects to do subtraction. So, I have here pictures and this will help us a lot in subtraction. What are you going to do? First, count all the objects together. Now, let us count all the numbers that we have here. All the objects. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 objects that we have here. Now, count all the objects with X. So the next one, next procedure is you find all the objects with X and you count them. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there were 4. So you would say, 10 minus 4. So out of this 10, you will remove the 4. Now, what's going to be the answer? Count the remaining objects. Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the remaining objects are 6. Therefore, that is the difference or the answer. So you would say 10 minus 4 equals 6. Next, we use pictures or objects to do subtraction. 5 minus 3 equals what's going to be the answer. So here, we don't have x's yet. We have pictures. So what are you going to do? First, cross out objects as many as the given subtrahend. So the subtrahend that we have here is a smaller number, which is 3. So we're going to cross out 3 among the 5 dots. Let's do it. 1, 2, and 3. Now, count the remaining objects without x. That is 2. 1, 2. So that's going to be your answer. So you would say 5 minus 3 equals 2. So it became easy because of the objects that we used. Now let us try. Find the difference. Let us count the objects first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 objects and how many exes were there? One, two. Okay, so you write two. That says 10 minus two. How will you find the answer? Very good. Count the remaining objects without x. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So your answer is eight. So you would say 10 minus two equals eight. Great job. Number two. Let's count all the objects together. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you got there eight, and then count all the X. One, two, three. So you got three. That says eight minus three. Now, how will you find the answer? Correct again. Count all the objects without X. One, two, three, four, five. So the answer is five. Very good, children. We are getting it now. Now I'll show you some more ways of doing subtraction. Number two, we can use our fingers to do subtraction. Wow, that's gonna be exciting. So get ready with your fingers now, kids. So let's have five minus three equals two. We're going to find the answer using our fingers. First, show the total numbers with your fingers. So let us have five. That's gonna be the minuend, so you have to show all of that. So that's five. Now, next step, fold the number of fingers according to the given subtrahend. So what is our subtrahend? Very good, that's the smaller number. So we got to three. So let's fold. One, two, and three. Were you able to do it? Very good. Now, count the remaining fingers that were not folded. Let's count. One, two. Since two fingers were left, that is our answer. So we would say 5 minus 3 equals 2. It was easier because we used our fingers. Let us have another one. We can count on to do subtraction. Remember, in addition, we did the counting on. We can do that also in subtraction. How? Here is the problem. 6 minus 4. What's the answer? First, find the smaller number. So which is smaller? Is it 6 or 4? Very good. 4 has the smaller value. And that is the subtrahend. Next, think of the next number to it and count on. Stop to the bigger number using your fingers or markings. Okay, next. The number of fingers or markings you've used to reach to the minuend would be your answer. Let's do it step by step. So the smaller number is the 4. Now think of the next number to number 4. That is 5. Good. 5 and count on. 5, 6. Okay, stop. You will stop until 6 only. Then count the number of fingers you've used. 1, 2. So that's your answer. Easy? We can also use markings like 4, 5, 6, like dots or lines. And then you are going to count them and that's going to be your answer. Now let us try that with the following. Find the difference. We use finger folding or counting on. Let's do 7 minus 4. So we could use finger folding, 7, and let's remove 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So what's your answer? Very good. That's 3. How about 4 minus 2? So you got 4 minus 2. 1, 2. So what's the answer? Very good. So that's 2. 8 minus 3. So let's have 8. 8 minus 3. 1, 2, 3. So what's your answer? Great. It's 5. Easy? Wow, you are getting it now, kids. Now, with this three, let's try to use the counting on. So, which is smaller, 10 or 6? Yes, it's 6. So, let's start from the subtrahend and think of the next number to it. 6, going to the middle end, remember, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, how many fingers did you use? Yes, your answer is 4. Next, 3. Next number to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many fingers did you use? Correct, it's six. So nine minus three is six. Now, three going to six. Three, four, five, six. Yes, it's Three! Wow! Great job, kids! You did so well! So now, we have learned about the subtraction, how we do it, and what are the different ways on how to do them more easily. 
I hope that you would always remember those ways because with that, I know that math would become so easy with you. And I want to hear you say, it is just an easy thing. Very good, children. Thank you so much for listening today. God bless you. Bye.